Hi there, welcome to this video. This is the first one in a, a big long series of videos on how to uh, create a dynamic or database driven website. Now um, in this video all I'm going to do is do a quick walkthrough the site that we'll be building and just explain what it is we're doing in each step and then um, I'll break the whole creation process down into a series of uh, quite small videos. So um, this is what it's going to look like. Now uh, please excuse the design, it's it's not really my thing. It's um, It'll just have to, it'll do for what we're doing. Um, but anyway, what it is here is just a little retail, retail um, catalogue site and you can see um, we have uh, a bunch of categories across the top there where you can filter the different items that are in the um, catalogue and if you select one of them uh, it takes you to uh, a page that has more details on that particular item. Now uh, you notice I haven't got any photos in there yet, I will put those in later if I get time but uh, for the time being I'll just focus on how you set up the database and write the PHP code to get the site working like this and then if I get time later on I'll add the um, the images. Now one thing also um, I hope you notice here is that the site all is pretty much based in one page. If you have a look at my URL up there um, everything is within the index.php page so regardless of where I go you can see um, everything is happening within the one page so the content in here uh, is appearing dependent on what obviously we select um, but the rest of the page stays the same which is quite useful in terms of um, design if you want to change the layout of your site you can do it very easily you don't have to update a whole bunch of pages you just do the one so anyway that's uh, how this is all working these um, these categories across the top these five categories are being pulled down from a table in my database called category and there are the five there the stock items that appear within each category, here in, in skirts we have three, uh, those items belong to the stock table and you'll notice here each category has its own unique ID number and each stock item then has lots of information about it but also it is matched up with a particular category ID so they belong to one. Um, so that's the what we call I guess the front end of the site that it, all these pages are just pulling down information from that database uh, so that's what we're building um, initially in the first few few lessons um, the second thing we'll be doing is then building an admin or a back-end section that is secure so um, in this case here if you get the username and password wrong it tells you uh, if I get it right with the super secure username and password um, it takes you to a control panel. Now um, within that control panel I'll be able to maintain things like adding a category here so if I put one in um, it has a confirmation which is always useful if I confirm it uh, that now appears in my list of categories across the top that will also appear in my database obviously. Um, I can also edit so this existing one here um, I should be able to edit that and you can see that has changed um, and obviously I can also delete one. Uh, there will also be other sort of functionality if I go to delete a category that actually already has items within it I'll be given a warning which is also always quite useful um, and also I'll be able to add stock items um, and edit them and delete them and I've obviously made some kind of problem uh, error here which I'll <laughs> need to fix up before we go too much further. Um, but you can see there the categories are being pulled from the table um, and also then we'll have a look at how we can use one of these um, nice edit uh, inline HTML editors here so that we can actually format um, the, code, uh, the, uh, the text as it will appear on our page. So that's the site, I'll have to fix that page soon. Um, but that's what we'll be building over the next, I don't know how many videos, maybe 20 videos or so. Um, so yeah, I hope you hope you watch. Thanks for watching this one.